No. 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 I love team baby. <laughs> Well, since my workout partner decided to skip leg day, or at least be late, we're gonna start on the hack squat and a little bit heavy today, so we'll see. Going for four sets of six with different foot placement each rep, each set. So. And thanks to the homie for recording. What up? Late. You're late. <laughs> All right, so she starts her leg workout with uh, abduct abductions. All right, how's that? Feels good. Feels good, right? All right, what's going on, LF fam? I'm here with Christina. Christina, Christina <laughs> XT1 Beast, aka. Um, so today we're gonna go over a quad focused leg workout and yeah, so this one was late so Yeah, my bad. I was yeah. with my dogs. Uh -huh. so, <laughs> <laughs> so I started out the workout with some hack squat. Um, this is sort of my main movement I try to keep it a little bit heavier. Um, if you guys know I'm not doing any free weight squat at the moment But that's a whole other topic of a video um, So mainly I do four sets on the hack squat um, heavy with first set toes pointing out second set toes pointing in and just alternating between the two just to hit different parts of the quads. Um, so I did that one. I did four sets of six and then we moved on to... Um, when I walked your, in, yeah. I did the abductors to open up my inner thighs. Yeah. And then I did the weighted lunges, weighted walking lunges. Yeah. And then non-weighted, just body weight. Yeah, so first with the hip abductor, what do you try to keep the rep schemes with? Um, I try to do like 12 to 15 reps. Okay, um, so... Depends like um, how heavy the weight you're using. Okay. And then I like to drop it to get the squeeze, so like pause once so you go out. you do like pulses? Yeah. Pulses. Okay. Usually I just do that like warming up before workout, but she does that actually as a workout. So um, after that we went on to walking lunges. Um, if you guys remember my last video, I do this in a two part, where it's uh, walking back and forth with weights. That's one part. Second part will be drop the weight back and forth again. And that is one set. So mm -hmm. back and forth with weights, back and forth again with no weights, that's one set. Yeah. How you like that? I love it. I like doing it out. You know, I saw outwards. that. Yeah, yeah. To hit more of the booty. Yeah, they, so <laughs> we're always working out glutes, you know. But so. you know that goes hand in hand. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. That one is uh, again one of my main movements. Um, I found that one did the most benefit for my legs, and it's way better than anything I've been doing else. So give that one a try if you guys haven't. And next we did the. We did the um, hack squat. Right? The, yeah, the reverse V bar hack squat, something like that. Um, that one's really good. Again, I keep the same tempo of foot in on the first set, foot out on the second, and, and then switch back and forth. So. And for me, I just keep it straight. Just straight. Okay. And that would work more the outer quads. Mm. So, um, keep in mind whenever you're trying to do it, switch it up or whatever you're trying to main focus on, keep it that way. So, then we went on to. Yeah, we did the. I did the barbell hack squat which is basically the barbell behind you. It's like a deadlift, but the barbell behind. And you come up and put a lot of squeeze on your um, teardrop. So that one's really good to finish off your quads with, simply because it puts so much tension at the bottom of your quads that it helps grow. So that and one- And thrust. And right. thrust, yeah. The main thing is when you come up, thrust. Thrust your hips and squeeze your teardrop, so. Because mm -hmm. it, it was hitting my hands. Yeah, well, she, that's a different story, so. <laughs> so you did that with the other bar. How you yeah, liked just it? The, it was good. Yeah. You've never done that one before. I've never done. Yeah, that's basically like a sissy squat, but where you have the barbell. So, yeah. if you guys don't have one of those setups where you can actually do a sissy squat and like hold a plate or something, try those out. It's a real old school bodybuilding movement. And then we went on to leg extensions. Right? Yes, we yeah. did um, both legs and then we did single leg. Yeah, so this is something she pointed, you know, made me do, which is good. I actually really liked it. Um, it's legs together and then single legs. Boom. Mm -hmm. So something that we did this workout that I kind of wasn't doing before was having the seat far back 
And what that actually allowed me to do was get a way better stretch. Yes, definitely. Yeah, so I felt it more on the top end of the quads, which is something that I'm lagging a little bit. So putting the seat back a little bit really made a difference on that. So, so try it, kids. So try it, kids. Um, that one, the reps and schemes were? Um, about the same, like 12, 15. And then the drop set. Uh, yeah, drop set. You know, whatever feels good. Yeah, so. Keep going with it. This one's a feel one, so you just kind of just going with it until it burns, until you can't no more. Yes. So again, it's not always about the reps and schemes, you know, you, you want to have some sort of guidance, but it's not always just a, stick, a stiff number. Yeah, it's not too strict, Yeah. You know? So, then she made me do some hippie workout. <laughs> nice. was, because it's different, he calls a hippie. Yeah, it's a little he's, hippie. He's too, so, no, I'm just kidding. That was actually a really good movement. <laughs> Alright, so I think uh, quads, no, for the hams, hams and glutes. Yeah, so all the way down. Okay, so all the way down, go. Good. The flexibility. <laughs> and why every time I do legs, somebody wants me to do some weird ass shit. <laughs> you have, like, really nice butt. What was that? You can't record, right? Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> no, I completely went black. I've seen enough of that. Okay. It's good though, I like it. It's good? Yeah, I like it. I think on um, more for like glutes and hammy stuff. Yeah. Which I'm doing quad focus, so my excuse to skip it. <laughs> Actually, really liked it, but um, I felt that the way you're saying it to do is more for like hams and glutes, right? Hams and the glutes. Yeah. It's a good, great time. Yeah. And I, you have it little like an angle. You don't have your foot straight. You have it slanted. Yeah. A little bit higher up. Yeah, I'll let her explain you that one. Far. You'll see it. Yeah, so it's actually really good. Um, you have to have a little flexibility to hold onto the side and to be like that. Well, you know, you just twist your body, but yeah. I would say maybe a little bit. A little bit flexibility. Yeah. You know, but you know, don't do it at the beginning if you're not used to it. You know, yeah. warm up first. Of course, the exactly. doctors will help too. Or stretch. The abductor, adductors, they're yeah. both. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, I mean, that pretty much concluded our leg workout. It's more of a quad focused. Again, no matter anytime you're doing legs, you're gonna hit both. So. Mm -hmm. Give these workouts a try. Let us know what you guys think. Make sure to follow Christina on X, 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 T, X T Beast. X T One Beast, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so the I it's one. It'll be here somewhere. <laughs> so make sure to give her a follow. And yeah, guys. So if you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up, like, and subscribe, and peace. Boop. <laughs>